And to get onto the Northwest flight in Detroit, Abdul Muttalib had to clear security in Amsterdam. And CNN's Richard Quest, he traveled to Amsterdam over the weekend for a first-hand look at the screening procedures there. Well, he's now back in London. He joins us now. Richard, what did you see when you were at that airport, the screening that took place in Amsterdam? Did it look tough? Did it look easy? What, what did you observe? At one particular look, it looked like any screening in anywhere else in any other major international airport. Uh, despite the rumours that there are around there that there may have been some laxity in all of this, Amsterdam does its US screening at the gate. So before you actually, but this is after you've been through the main airport screening. And it depends where you've started your journey, whether you started it within Amsterdam or you're connecting. But even wherever it was, you at some point had to go through the main metal detector and the x-ray machine to get to the gate, what the US calls the last point of depart before departure. The question of course is now, following on from the new TSA rules, the patting down into the directives, the searching of every piece of hand luggage, the further questioning for those people that might look suspicious or raise questions. And of course that is going to be a much more intense process and that's going to take a great deal longer. Did you see any use of uh, full body scanners at the airport? Do they use those there? Well, Amsterdam has more full body scanners than any other air single airport pretty much in the world. And no, they're not using them. They claim it's because of regulatory problems in using them. But frankly, the European Commission told us tonight that there's no problem. European countries are free to use the full body scanners if they wish to. There's no European rules on the subject yet, but individual countries can. However, what is stopping them using them is niceties and privacy. They don't use them yet because they're worried that the American passengers and the TSA will object on privacy grounds and won't approve their use. And they don't use them because they basically say that passengers will object. Uh, Suzanne, there is no delicate way to put this. Those body scanners reveal all. And until there is a consensus that they don't mind having their bits revealed to an anonymous security guard, then it's not going to happen. However, they are working on new methods where a computer would look at the image and a computer would work out if there is something um, a wrong and awry, if you like. It's privacy versus security. You can certainly understand both sides of that argument. Okay, Richard, Richard Quest, thank you so much.